day. This is Barn Man. And the Elio 77. And we welcome you back to Quest Calendars 2024, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Woo! Today we get to meet our fourth adventurer. Jeez. Cora Wildclaw and Jeb. The introduction tells us Cora Sagebloom is the heir to the throne should her mother, Queen Enid, ever die or fail in her duties. Her mother's strict oversight and the Royal Guard's constant watch continue to suppress her desire for adventure. Cora convinced her mother to let her train in the art of the blade. She uses her skills as an art form to meditate and relax as much as she does for self-defense and discipline. As a blade dancer, Cora can summon ethereal blades that swirl around her, moving with her every motion. These blades can be controlled and directed to slice through enemies with finesse and precision. Cora goes by Wildclaw to protect her identity when sneaking out of the castle. Today, she plans to join the people in the Turning Leaf Festival and enter the Leaf Riding Tournament. She sounds amazingly adventurous. Yeah. It even says that she has a desire for adventure. So, um, Elio is going to be following Coral Wildclaw on this sheet, character sheet, while I will be using the Hero Journal. Looking at Cora, Cora has a number of negatives. Negative two on Constitution, probably because Cora is just a little tiny mouse. A couple of negative ones. Eleven health, though. Lots of health. That's positive. Uh, Quill is the other one that has a lot of health. Yeah. yeah. Cora does have five amber. I guess being the daughter of Queen Enid, you don't have as much amber as some of the other characters. And let's check out the abilities. What kind of abilities does Cora have? Uh, stealthy. Very nice. Gets to add a plus two to all sneak and remain hidden rolls. Regal influence. Huh, once once per page, what does Cora get to do? Uh, Gets to re-roll. Roll any d20 plus charisma. Charisma, nice. Oh, take the new result. Okay, nice. And then also Flurry of Daggers. Once per rest, gain a d6 bonus to all attack rolls on the page. That, because it's only once per rest, not once per page, that can be a really long time. So probably need to really choose when we're going to use that. We're starting Cora's week off on Monday, January 22nd. 2024, also known as Moods Day, Deep Winter. Let's begin. You sit at your bedroom window high in Crown Spire Castle, gazing longingly outside as the bustling city prepares for the festival to celebrate the changing seasons. You plan to join them soon, but first, you must answer the knock at your door. So we have a number of things that we have to do. Cora gets up, walks over, opens the door, and talks to the person. You open the door to find an unfamiliar guard has come with a message. She must be new, since you know every guard that works for your mother in the castle. Good morning, Miss Cora. I, I've been sent by Captain Flint Clawthorn to deliver a message. You are to report to your mother at once. Your dresses for this evening's festivities are ready, and she wants you both to attend your fitting together. I, I do apologize for my lateness. It is my first day at the castle, and I got lost while looking for your room. 
I am to escort you down. The second thing is you can pay them to ignore you. That is an optional thing. What do you think? Do we try to do that? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay, so so Cora, instead of trying to bribe the guard to leave her alone, um, she can now do one of two things. She can either persuade them to leave, use a little charisma roll, or she can lie to them. Do you want to try to persuade or lie? Persuade is always better. You think persuade is better? You're going to persuade them. All right. We roll a d20 plus charisma. Cora says, um, since you are new here, I will help you out. My mother will be busy for a while and likely wouldn't even know I was late. I need some more time to get ready myself. So you may leave and I will head down when I am done. Okay, let's see if uh, that convinces the new guard. Plus or that's, minus. That's an eight, right? Yeah. Plus two, ten. All right, all right. The guard doesn't seem convinced. Mm, I'll be outside your door waiting for you. So we're going to take a negative one penalty to rolls on the next page. Okay, negative one um, for, what is that going to be, one, 123? All right. And uh, we're gonna write down waiting guard over here. These are those words that you sometimes get that can be a positive or a negative. Cora goes back into her room and I suppose is gonna decide what to do next. And we hope to see you next on Tuesday. Goodbye. Bye.